What's up guys? This is Alex Chamberlain and we're back on the trail. Finally got a new gimbal. I ended up with the GoPro Karma Grip. I thought I would kind of reward myself after getting 2,000 subscribers. I thought that was enough of a mark to trade up and get the Karma Grip. I decided on this gimbal because riders like MTV, MTV Savant and Skills with Phil had these and they just seem like the best quality stabilization you can get on the market at the moment but the only issue is uh, the audio quality out of the Hero 5 picks up a lot of wind noise so this is actually my second take with this gimbal and camera setup and I'm really hoping that the wind noise has died down I've messed with the settings a little bit on the camera and then I've put several of those little mini dead cats on the camera to hopefully silence down the wind. I'll be fine tuning it down the road, so expect some better quality as well down the road. So today's topic is actually why I don't test ride and review mountain bikes that aren't my own and it's pretty simple actually it's because the bikes just aren't set up how I'd like them from the factory so I don't want small things here and there to hinder my opinion on the bike itself also Also, what am I gonna learn from an hour bike ride? I'll get a small first impression, but I won't know much about the bike. Like, how's the maintenance gonna be over time? How, after tweaking with suspension, did it get better? All these things. And then especially if the bike comes with a SRAM Grupo with like SRAM guide brakes, that thing, <laughs> That would turn me off real quick. I know there are a lot of people who love SRAM, but I'm a diehard Shimano guy on brakes. And they work the exact opposite of a SRAM, so once I get on SRAM brakes, it just kind of ruins the ride for me right there. So I wouldn't want a biased review just because of components that are easily swappable and maybe that other people like. I wouldn't want to have a bad review because of just small components like that. So my idea is that I'll review my friend's bikes that have had their bikes for over six months so they can give you a real good review on where it's best, what type of rider it's for, and all that good stuff. So. I just want to give you guys a better review than just an hour on it and telling you that the bike is fun because to be honest mountain biking is a pretty fun sport I think that's why we all do it <laughs> it's hard to have a bad time on a mountain bike but there are definitely bikes that could suit you a little bit better than others and that's what I want to find out after reviewing bikes Woohoo! conditions are pretty good yeah so I just want my reviews to be a little bit more informative than what's already out there on the market today I guess this sounds pretty bad because most people test riding a bike want to go into the shop take it for a little demo maybe half a day and then decide on the bike from there which is cool you get the gist of the bike but you don't really get to dial it in with volume spacers and maybe the right bar width you want and small things like that. So I just think it'd be better. I know I'm a small company. <laughs> I'm small right now, but uh, if any companies wanted to send out bikes for a week or so, so you can get a real thorough test on it, that would even be better. And then I can get you guys really informative bike reviews. Yeah, I just want my review to really help you guys get on the right bike. 
I don't want it just to say like, yeah, it's a fun bike. Yeah, it's a good climber. Yeah, it's a descender. I want to figure out if it's going to be the right bike for you personally. So other topics I wanted to talk about are, I want to get some more POV videos for you. And I'm planning on traveling to do that. But it's pretty hard to find legal single tracks in the Bay Area. Most of the trails I ride are illegal, illegal, unfortunately. So, and I'd only do trail guides on legal trails for obvious reasons. So, if any of you guys have any suggestions of trails you want me to go to, I'd be more than happy to see those down in the comment section below. I've already gone to Walking Miller. Rockville is a place I could do if you guys wanted. And then there's a trail system in Marin I was thinking about going to, so there are a few other options out there. If you guys have any suggestions on how to quiet the wind noise down on the Hero 5 with the Karma Grip gimbal, we'd be very happy to hear that. I've looked up maybe 50 videos on YouTube and no one has really come up with a really good option. people have said just to put an external mic on but you can't put an external mic on when it's attached to the karma grip and then the only solution I've seen is taking a fully separate device to record audio and then in editing overlay it with your video so that's a huge pain and that's something I really shouldn't have to do so if any of you guys have solved the wind noise issue, I'd be super happy to hear about it. Other than that, this was kind of my first vlog, first try at it. Tell me what you guys think about that. And if it's something you want more of or something you're kind of just annoyed with my voice. <laughs> I thought you guys would rather watch me ride my bike then just have me in front of a camera on my couch just looking at my face the whole time and also do you guys have any places you'd like me to ride i'm planning on doing a road trip as far as i can around america in the next month or so hopefully going all the way out to like vermont to even do the kingdom trails but i want to start stop in arkansas go back to tennessee and north carolina drive with some buddies then i really want to go out to Wyoming and Montana. I heard there's amazing stuff out there. So that's all in the works. Well, that's probably enough talking for me today. But uh, if you guys like this style of video, definitely give it a thumbs up and then subscribe if you wanna find out some more mountain bike content. And if you haven't seen the rest of my videos, there's some really good stuff up there about coil shocks, about the Yeti SB6. So all of it's some good stuff. So I definitely recommend subscribing. And then yeah, hopefully you can watch out for my next video. I'm uploading every morning, or <laughs> I'm uploading every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday morning. So I'm giving you guys three videos a week and hopefully you like them. I'll see you guys out in the trails and hopefully next video. Cheers. If you wanna stick around for some trail riding, you're more than welcome to. I think I'm gonna slap some more POV footage in there and we'll be testing how bad the wind noise is and how well the gimbal kind of works and if it gets off center or not. So stay tuned.